dug out these two uh, major fuel tanks what I need to do is pressure test them the one that's over there on the major leaks here so I need to blank that blank that, that. I've worked out this is 716th UNF and uh, I've got a drain testing kit here so that'll go in the top hole there now we can use the U gauge to give it a pressure test so what I'm doing at the moment is uh, I haven't got a bolt that fits that, so I'm going to try and cut one. I've turned this down to 7 sixteenths, and we need 22 threads per inch. What that says. Yeah, 22. I checked it off the nut that's there, so what I'm going to do is set the list to 22, which is here. So we need to move this. There's 22, and we need D, A, D's that way, D's that way, and we're doing what we're screw cutting. Yeah. <laughs> Put it here, I think, until I get the levers in the right bit. Bring you back when I get it in the right place. Right, I think I've got everything set up now. We're set up on the uh, D A and there. It's 22 threads to the inch what was. Cutting what was, cutting what was, that's on D, that's on A, that's that one. Uh, and there should be I've set up a dial indicator so we always come back to the same place. Goes, let's see how we go. I've sped it up to 112 RPM because it's such a fine thread. Um, we'll go 
for an even number, number two. cutting a thread it just seems to be um, just machine it there's the markings of a thread oh there is a roughness to it but I'm not sure why it's doing that right what we'll do is we'll turn this to 30 degrees and uh, see if that helps uh, I figured out what I was doing wrong I was pulling this lever up instead of pushing it down. Look well enough on threading. Anyway, we've got it set up for 23, 22 threads to the inch. I've got a zero set here and I'm going to use the compound so it goes in at a certain degree angle. Uh, let's get one I'll put it over here for now. Let's cut an oil. <sighs> So I'm running at 59 RPM.
Nice thread actually. You'd think somebody knew what they were doing when they cut that. Wasn't it me? The only way I've got to try it is taking it out and putting it in the, the tank itself. I'll give it a measure and see how close we are to the 7 sixteenths. Slightly bigger at the back, but that won't matter because we'll just be using the front bit. So uh, it looks something like what we want. Let's check the uh, nut and see what it looks like. Try it. Right, we'll get it out and take it over and see it. See if it's gonna fit or not. I'll leave this. Oh, no matter. We didn't set it up again anyway. Ah. Could have used a bit of 25 instead of a bit of 30, but this was already getting the noise. Yeah, I'm away to get this tank off the major here to find out what size is fitting down at the bottom here. Papers. I don't need to test this one, I know this one leaks. So hopefully one of the other two doesn't work. See if we can get this connection off. Put it on. 
ordered gasket paper which has come today but last night I couldn't find the order so I ordered more <laughs> so it's coming out more to go up to the shed and see if I can find one. Bring it up a bit. Yeah, it, it turned out that it is half inch BSP standard type thread. So we've got plenty of blown fittings that fit it. Just trying to eat it up like that. So I've got a, this is a 15mm blank, copper blank, so we've got a little thread in. We'll do this tank first. We've got some thread tape that's actually not broken in places. That actually means I can make up a tap quite easily you know, to replace the old one because I think it's leaking as well. It doesn't shut off properly. So that's your outlet. Thanks for coming here. And as I've always put on testing them. So today's the big day that we're testing them. I would tell her today's the big day that we're trying to test them. Right, that should see them. I'm letting it cool down, that's why I have it. There's still some diesel in that one. I think the 
this is just perfect. <laughs> the thread It's weird that it goes in on this one, but not that one. It's three eights actually, that's what it is. Must be three eights, you and it. What you don't want. This is three seven six. Not much. Right, I'm going to get this back in the way and I'll show you that we are. I'll bring it back when we're going back there. Okay, we're going to get a drive. Valve still shut. Okay. No way, it's not here. We're just on the seven. It seems to be holding. I'll try to get the pressure up a wee bit. Let's 
just on the 19 and it's dropping but Right, settle Give it a minute to settle. So when you're tightening the testing with gas, you put it into pressure and then you let it settle for a minute. And then you've got your a two minute static test for natural, well, change the LPG as well, it's natural gas, it's a static test for two minutes as well. That's, that's going to settle around the 17 here, I don't know if you can just see the bubble. But it's looking alright actually. And it, I mean the slightest little thing and that'll drop just drop a wee bit tank might be okay next thing is fill it full of diesel and see what happens I mean doing quicker for a start but that was it just to uh, set one uh, 16 and a half seems to be holding. There's a slight drop, but nothing. Nothing substantial. Right, what we'll do is uh, put the tap in it and uh, fill it full of diesel and see what happens. And I can drain it, so I'll bring you back if I'm ready. Uh, I've got that below the, the tap in case it leaks. So I'll put a wee bit in and then I'll swill it out because it's a bit rusty inside. Inside this one, there's a half a screwdriver and a stone. I've just been looking in to see. So uh, when I took the bung out, there was quite a lot of back pressure, so it was. Holding pretty well. So just put a wee bit in and give it a swirl round. The tank you were sitting on would actually be have to do is fit a second filter before the it goes out the fuel pump. Let's see if I can do that to put that in.
I remember right one of these tanks actually leaked and the guy that bought the tractor for giving me the tank uh, but I said that one leaks and he gave me another one so it's probably this rusty one that's the good one of the two yeah. I don't think he's uh, doing anything anymore he's cleaning the <clears throat> I'm just cleaning the top the top Right, what's the worst we can put the stuff through the filter? bits and pieces of rust but the uh, the actual filler I put back in has got an upstand in it so it's not in the bottom of the tank so it's up about one and a half inches right here goes I'm going to stop for lunch now and go. Oh, you're going to swim this. That's me got diesel in it now, so I'm going to go and have my lunch and come back and see if it's leaking out anywhere. The reason I took the old rusty tank first because it's it usually the, the worst looking one's the best. <laughs> 